Hi, I'm Scott. Welcome to Goldwing Docs. Coming up next, we got one of your most popular video topics, review of power tools. Today, the C-Sil impact wrench. Coming up next. Now we've done a review on an impact wrench before. However, these guys say theirs is better and less expensive. So we'll have a look. However, we've got a problem in that my bike doesn't need any work. It, it's a gold wing, it just never breaks. I don't need new tires. I don't have any maintenance to do. So I've got no work to do on it. However, fortunately over here, I've got my car and my car needs some new shocks. So we'll demonstrate new impact wrench while I change the shocks on my car. My thermometer says it's 87 degrees in here and I am definitely feeling it. I may have to turn on my fan. It might create a bit of noise, but I'm not gonna be able to do this otherwise. All right, so let's have a look and see exactly what's inside this thing. All right, I got my fan turned on now. I hope it's not too loud. All right, so we do have this rather high impact case here. It says c sale on here. By the way, I will include a link to this on Amazon so you can actually see what the price is in your area and any more details about it. So it comes with a nice manual, color picture, blah, blah, blah. Oh, look at that. All the uh, instructions are uh, in color. So very nice. How to install an impact socket comes with a little bag. Well, here's what looks like a charger. Okay. And a battery. Okay, there's our battery. Oh, it looks like we got two batteries. So let's take one of these batteries and we'll put it in the charger and charge it up. Okay, so we got the battery on there. I'm going to plug the charger in and it lights up uh, red, which means charging. So we're charging that battery. Okay, so we have the wrench itself here. Now this is an electric impact wrench. Uh, it is a 24 or 21 volt, so it should have fairly high torque. Um, it does have a battery level on there. Let's snap this battery into there and see what it says. And I see nothing, no battery. Oh, okay, so I guess when I push that battery, nothing happens, but. Okay, so this is actually switching the level. So we have high. So when I click the trigger, it's showing me the battery is full and then I can switch the torque level from high to low. So let's leave that on high. And we have a nice little light in there that lights up and a switch for forward and reverse. Uh, it's actually a pretty decent feeling thing. It's got a, a reasonable amount of heft. It is a, a thermoplastic, imp, high impact thermoplastic uh, handle and housing, except for the front here, which feels like steel. And then we have a, uh, a three quarter inch drive on the end. All right. We have a set of sockets, and these are impact sockets. We've got uh, a 21, a 19, uh, 22, 14, 18, and 17. Okay, so I'm wondering why these are just kind of floating around in here. It looks like there's, in the case, there's little pieces where you could stick them in here, but other than that, it doesn't seem to be a place for these to live if that charger goes there. So they're kind of just floating around inside the case, which is a little odd, but okay. So do we have O-rings? Yes, we do. And as you can see, it says put the O-ring on the impact socket and then put it on the square drive and then put the pin through the hole in the impact socket and the O-ring is supposed to hold the pin. So this is fairly common for these types of impact wrenches where they want you to fasten the impact wrench permanently onto the thing by pushing it on. Now these have a, a C-ring in here on the drive that, that will expand and hold the impact wrench in place or hold the socket on the impact wrench. Now that's really tight and it's not coming off. Interesting. 
<clears throat> okay, so as you can see, it's actually quite tight. Now I'm gonna put a 19 on there because that's what my car is actually using. So we'll find the 19. I believe my car is a 19. Yes, it is. So we've got a 19. I'll stick a 19 on the wrench. They want you fitting this on there and then putting the a little rod that's contained in the bag, as you can see, has a little rod in there. And they want you putting that through the socket into the bit and then having this little o-ring roll down on there to hold this the rod in place and that will keep the socket permanently on this thing if you were going to be using this day in and day out in a shop and you were only ever going to use that one size of socket that might be just great but i would never do that because it makes it really hard to take these on and off and in fact this is actually surprisingly difficult to get on there okay so now i've got the 19 on there and it's it's fitting fairly well you can see i could put the rod through there and have it permanently affixed but i mean it's not coming off there i can go ahead and use it with no problems okay so it's a nice little case uh, i guess we have this little bag that we can throw these in i don't not quite sure why they weren't in the bag to, to begin with but we will throw them in there now All right, so now I'm going to get my car up in the air so I can get this wheel off, and then we can start having a look at what we're gonna use here. All right, so I've lifted my car up in the air, and I've got my uh, wheel lug nut key. I'll tell you a story, I actually went to film this video last week, and when I went to go get my lug nut key to take the wheel off, I realized I don't have it anymore. And the reason I don't have it anymore is because I took my car to get the wheels balanced, gave them the key back in January, and they never gave me the key back. And of course, the people who were working there at the time no longer worked there, and my key was gone. So I actually had to find a replacement key, order it, and get it. And so now I can take my wheels off again. And of course I thought, what's the worst possible thing that could happen when you can't get your wheel off your car? And that would be to get a flat tire. And of course this weekend, I got a flat tire. Wouldn't you know it? So we'll take this wheel off with the, the, the uh, impact wrench. And it easily took that off. Not even breathing hard. Not surprising. Uh, these impact wrenches have come a long way. I used to use, a, I have an air impact wrench, which is incredibly powerful, but it's really overpowered for this kind of stuff uh, where you're just, you know, breaking free uh, bolts that may be a little more seized than usual or lug nuts like this case. Um, I've noticed that I, now that I have electric impact wrenches, I rarely use my air wrench anymore simply because these are more convenient and they're just as powerful. If you have a, a bolt or a nut that's really seized and rusted, these work really, really well. Now, some people use a wrench or called a breaker bar, which is just a wrench with a really long bar on it that lets you give a lot of torque. However, I found that when you are breaking things free that are seized, particularly if they're rusted and have been in there for a long time. These work better because the wrenches put a lot of torque over time and you end up more often than not shearing a bolt off. Whereas the incredibly high but very brief impact that the impact wrenches give tend to break the nut free without applying enough torque to actually shear the bolt. One thing I will note about this uh, CC wrench uh, that the other wrench didn't had a problem with is that the lug nuts seem to fit in very well. The sockets that came with the other wrench that I reviewed were so tight that I couldn't even use them on my car. I ended up having to use my own impact sockets. So these sockets, as you can see, fit very well and the, the lug nut comes right out with no problem whatsoever. So there's the uh, bolt that I have to remove. 
I did spray it with a little bit of Seafoam Deep Creep, which is really the best penetrating oil I've found. I've used, uh, I used um, PB Blaster for years, but uh, the Seafoam Deep Creep works so much better, and I've, I'll put a link to that in the description below. Now, I did not have a 15 millimeter ratchet or impact socket, so I'm having to use a 15 millimeter CRV socket which isn't ideal. Of course, I had 13, 14, 16, 17, 19, 21, and every other size, but not 15. So I'm using a non-impact ratchet here, or socket rather. So, but one of the advantages of these little uh, electric impact wrenches is that you can get them into tight spaces like this. And there I can get it right on the, the nut, and we'll see if we can get that out of there. And it did back that right out. So let me get it back on. Look at that. Right out of there. No problem whatsoever. It's almost out. There we go. And at the other end, we have what feels like little 10 millimeters. So let's see if I have something that will fit that. Here's an 11. And that's too big, so I think it is a 10. Hopefully I have one. Let's see if this will fit. There we go, that fits fine, so I'll stick that 10 up in there. And I think I will use an extension on this. That out no problem at all and the one on the other side and there we go shock is out just like that quick and easy shock out, one shock in. Now installing these, I'm definitely not gonna use an impact wrench because it's very easy to over torque these bolts and then just snap them off with an impact wrench. So I'll do these by hand. Well, using the uh, CC wrench actually made that job quick and easy. Probably 15 minutes on and off to get that uh, new shock installed. Uh, I was able to tighten the bottom bolt using the impact wrench, and then I did the final bit by hand just to make sure I got the torque right. And then similarly, I'll use the CC wrench to install my lug nuts. Now I'm not going to tighten them using an impact wrench because that invariably gives you lug nuts that are over torqued which lead to warped rotors. So um, number one cause of warped rotors is over torqued lug nuts. So we're not going to do that. But what we will do is use it just to get them snug and then we'll use a torque wrench to do it the rest of the way. So we'll just snug these up, get the wheel in place. I don't know if that's actually grabbing the key or not. There we go. Okay, then we get the torque wrench. Set our torque to 100 foot-pounds. Uh, 
That's it, 100 foot-pounds all around. Job's a good one. Shock is done. So that's it, that's the CC uh, impact wrench. Comes with two batteries. I see the uh, other battery is not quite charged yet. This one actually wasn't charged at all and it was more than capable of taking that wheel off back on and doing my shock. So um, I gotta say, it actually feels like a solid piece. It's got nice uh, rubber on it that's, uh, that gives you a good grip on it. Uh, the, the controls feel solid and quality. I like it has the nice little light on there that uh, helps you see what you're doing. Um, it's got a nice finish on here. I see I scraped it a little bit, but uh, it's still good to go. Really seems like a solid piece of kit. Uh, and it's 21 volts, so you got a lot of torque. Definitely something that you can probably use anywhere on your motorcycle, anywhere on your car, anywhere you have bolts that may be seized and need a little bit of persuasion to come off. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Well, that's it, An inexpensive, reasonably high quality, very powerful, uh, cordless electric impact wrench from CC. Give it a thumbs up. And oh my gosh, I'm just sweating. I'm so hot in here. I hope you understand what I'm suffering through to make these videos for you. If you like what you saw here today and you'd like to see more like it, please click like, subscribe, click that little bell. It really, really, really helps us out when you do that. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions or corrections, please add them in the comments section down below. And of course, don't forget to go visit the Goldwing Docs Forum 94,000. I now used to say 91,000, but I actually checked and I was wrong. It's 94,000 members, Goldwing owners, just like you, waiting to say hi, friendly people. Come on, and why don't you join us? GoldwingDocs.com, there's a link to it down below, just like there's a link to the CC Impact Wrench, uh, the Seafoam Deep Creep, and uh, anything else that you might have seen me use here in this video, I'll put a link to down below. Thanks for watching. After I finished putting the other shock on, I decided to need to test drive the car and being National Ice Cream Day, let's go to DQ. I've got my wheel key. Now I will tell you a little story here that uh, I actually went to go and film this video ye uh, last week. <sighs> this Unsatisfactory. thing full of, this thing dumps every gold darn time I do anything at all. All right, so I got, all right, so I got my wheel up in the air.